Dad, the TV's broken! Actually, Chris, I got rid of our television. This is our new bookshelf, and I think you'll find it has more channels than any TV we've ever owned. I want to watch The Walking Dead. Then I shall read to you from Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. I want to watch New Girl. Perhaps you'd like to hear about Jane Eyre, who felt quite the new girl at Rochester's Thornfield Hall. How about Game of Thrones? Instead, I shall read to you from... Game of Thrones. Oh, finally, another reader in the family. You know, these are some of my favorite books and authors. Oh? What are you reading right now? Oh, boy. Well, I'm, I mean, I'm sort of between books right now. Yeah? What was the last thing you read? He's got you on the ropes now. Well, I, I'm actually rereading a lot of stuff. Yeah? Like what? Just tap out. Uh, the classics, you know? Going back to the, uh, basics, really. <laughs> Words on the printed page. <laughs> Thank you, Steve Gutenberg. <laughs> right? <laughs> what is this, oak? Oh, I don't even think it's oak. Peter, I can't get over the way you've transformed yourself. How'd you do it? Well, Lois, some of it came from books, some came from museums, and honestly, a lot of it just came from travel. Uh, hey, excuse me, I need to rent a car, uh, preferably one where the radio is stuck on NPR. Here you go. Hello, it's me. I am returning. How is the car? Coastal and superior. I never knew whisper talking was so smart. And how will you be paying for your rental, sir? I will pay you with stories of my abusive father set to dissonant flute. I was seven when he first came home drunk. A child should sleep on his bed, not under it. Hey, what are you listening to? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm learning Sanskrit. You know, an ancient tongue can be as titillating as a young one. Peter, what gives? Ever since you had all those business trips, you've been acting weird. Pity a man in familiar places who yet feels like a stranger. You... you're the dick who wrote that in the bathroom. Indeed. Being smart and cultured is so lonely. Now I know why Oscar Wilde turned to alcoholism and bone inhalation. Gentlemen, as they say in Sanskrit, shuba prabatam. <laughs> you know, it's weird. Shuba prabatam is my poor name. What? Yeah, first pet in the street you grew up on. You had a pet named Shuba? Oh, yeah. Old Shuba was a tough pooch. He was feared by everyone up and down Probottom Drive. You have a very weird past. All right. If this is to be a smart family, we will have to learn not to giggle at smart things that sound dirty but are not. Balzac. <laughs> <laughs> Homo erectus. <laughs> Spotted dick. <laughs> The results have been disappointing. I always thought Spotted Dick had something to do with Morgan Freeman. We now return to Wizard Robot and his less successful friend. Uh, we're in a real jar of jam this time, Wizard Robot. Yep, gop. I have put too much suds in this machine for washing clothes. And tonight is the night I meet with other members of my Form 12 learning mates to celebrate the exactly two groupings of ten years ago. Deep gulp. Oh, excellent. The situation has abated itself. Let us leave the room where no comedic situation will soon take place. Hey, Lois. No, I wasn't. Ah, oh, Brian, thank God it's just you. You know how Peter thinks TV rots the mind. Oh, as long as you're here, can you run some vocabulary with me? I need to know how to use these words in sentences by the time Peter gets home. Oh, that should be easy. Just give me the word and I'll put it in a sentence for you. Anodyne. Uh, a friend asked me what anodyne means. Oh, who am I kidding? I'm never gonna learn any of these words. Oh, I can't take this anymore, Brian, and the kids can't either. Peter's become a nightmare. Wait, I thought this is what you always wanted, for Peter not to be an idiot. Oh, at least that Peter was fun and didn't make me feel so stupid. Oh, I miss the old Peter. Well, we gotta do something, because this new Peter just sounds all wrong, like a pilot without a calming voice. We've now reached our cruising altitude! If you look out the window, you'll see the Rocky Mountains! Ah! We have to get out of here! Ah! Wait a minute. If visiting San Francisco and New York made Peter smart, maybe if we send him to the dumbest city in the whole country, it'll bring back the old Peter. Huh. 